R.J. Gross logs a lot of hours behind the wheel of his pickup this time of year. He and his crews are running their annual brood counts. Each team member is assigned a number of 20-mile routes. There are over 100 in all. Then they drive slowly down that stretch of road and count pheasants to get a better handle on bird numbers. We do that every year to compare the numbers from years before so we can get an uh, accurate representation of the population. They try to pick nice sunny mornings with plenty of dew on the grass so the birds will be close to the road drying their feathers. When they spot one, well, it actually looks kind of comical. Every time they see a brood or a lone bird, they go out, make noise, stomp, clap their hands, go out and try to kick them up and get an accurate call. And the past few mild winters are adding up to pretty good news for pheasant hunters. Maybe a few more broods. I think this year, the last two winters we had pretty easy winter. And Not only that, but an early spring meant hens nested earlier than normal. So young of the year roosters will be a little more mature by the time hunting season rolls around. I think broods are a little bit older than years past, a little bit bigger farther on. Another key component to the brood count surveys is the ability to match birds with crucial habitat. Every time you see a lone bird or a flock or a brood of birds, you take it, we take a GPS point and we're going to use that to correlate where the birds are to the habitat, kind of to, to determine where if they're by agriculture or by grasslands. Some areas of the state will obviously be better than others for pheasant hunters, but overall, R.J. Gross says bird numbers should keep hunters busy this fall. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.